point is I give myself five fails a day, which means, but until I fail the sixth time, it's not a bad day. Because what would happen is I would fail the first time in a day, shut down and not do anything, anything the rest oh of the day. Gosh. And what was I supposed to do that day? Mm -hmm. And who was it supposed to be for? Right. So it doesn't mean I don't get concerned or mad when a failure happens. I don't let it define my day. So that threshold for failure, by the way, which is realistic as hell, because I don't know who's been able to live without failure. Right. Right. So it's actually an injustice that we've existed believing that failure is going to kill us. Make a threshold for it. Mine is five. And then here's what happens. Because I don't stop because a fail happened, even if I'm pissed, I'm still pissed and figuring out the rest of the day. I have accidentally become an expert in failure recovery. Hmm. Uh. I get up faster than anybody else. I bounce back faster than anybody else. So now I actually have a refined weapon on failure recovery that helps me win the race. I'm your professor, I will test you in the worst way Don't bring a scan, trying to pop quizzes all day Cause of our chemistry, we do biology What's happening fam? LAR movement still moving Subscribe or die trying You see the thumbnail, more importantly you saw the clip I don't agree with what was we'll said I get it, I get the premise But I don't agree with it And here's my thing because sometimes I, I, I see things in society and I just want to put a different perspective on it. If you give yourself a five failure threshold every day, I mean, you could five, fail five times a day, right? And then if you do it the sixth time, then we got a problem. And, you know, people fail all the time. That's not true. Saying people fail all the time is not true because think about this. You say that people have eight hours of sleep, so 16 hours out of the day. So what you're telling me is roughly a little over three hours a day you get to fail. So roughly, you if you, if you kept that idea up, you gave yourself permission to fail at least hmm, let's see how, how close to a third of your life a third of your life hey I failed I failed I failed and this is not one of those things where you failed and you grow and you build something great and it, it comes off I did something minuscule and I failed you know it wasn't that I failed at something and then you know, I went back to the drawing board and got better. I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't take it, it that way. The other thing, you know, later on in that clip, she was talking about how, you know, because if you're in a competition, you got to kind of give yourself grace in a sense. And I'm like, you will never win if you're in a competition with anyone and you give yourself the ability and the permission to fail that many times when the goal of competing is to make the least amount of stakes, the least amount of mistakes as possible to win. You can't win and have a high failure rate. It doesn't even go together. One of the other things that struck me about that was, and I, and I alluded to, is like giving yourself permission, right? I, I, in, in some ways, you're trying to not have a standard and not hold yourself to a high standard because the goal is to, is to limit your mistakes in life, not to keep making them, right? But if you give yourself that permission to fail, who's to say that you don't fulfill the failure? Who's to say that since I gave myself five, you know, I'm comfortable with five. So, yeah, I was going to do that, but I didn't feel like it failed, number one. I'm going to do this. I don't feel like it now failed, number two. You know, I'm, I said I'm going to do this. I changed my mind, but two, but they didn't know I changed my mind. Failed, number three. You know, I fell out with this person because of this. Failed, number four. And then I did this, and it was messed up, and somebody else had to pay for that, fail number five. But the next time I do it, 
what I'm going to hold myself accountable. <sighs> Which bleeds into the other thing, like, if you're an ex if you're accepting the failure at that at that rate, and you're accepting that you're not gonna hold yourself really accountable until number six, which is trifling. And then on the other hand, you got to take into consideration that, in some ways, you're saying if I fail this much, somebody else could have to pick up the pieces and deal with it. Because if I give myself a, a five failures a day, I, who's to say you failed, but somebody else has to, has, has to pick up the pieces? You failed you, but you also failed them. But if they're the ones um, um, cleaning up the debris after your debacle, then does that count? You know, does that count? And do you, and do you take pride in watching other people have to fix your mistakes? And the reason why I'm saying that is because part of that video gave gave me the the thought that if you're willing to do that and take on that ideology, you're willing to let somebody else do the heavy lifting in day to day life because. that mindset would make you a responsible person. And, you know, and some people will go, you know, I'm an inventor, you know, I'm innovative, so I make mistakes here and there, and I get all that, I do. But that ain't what they talking about. They're talking about somebody who's straight, pretty much selfish and out of pocket. How does that end? Normally bad. But there's always a new... There's always a new person to fulfill that role. And because of that, we got success and failure warped. Like, when I said earlier, you leave somebody else to pick up the pieces. There is no guilt in that. There is no shame in that. You know, there is no... Um, I'm going to work extra because I don't want anybody having to clean up my mess. There's none of that. It's just a bunch of irresponsible people doing irresponsible stuff at the end of the day, using failure as an excuse to not come through on their own words but or at, and with their own actions. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.